During a long night at the end of a two-year campaign, Scotland watched as its future played out on TV. As the votes were counted, the Yes campaign had a few highs, winning significantly in Scotland's second city, Glasgow. But there were more lows, more wins for the noes, before the man who'd led the independence campaign accepted defeat. It's important to say that uh, our referendum was an agreed and consented process and Scotland has, by majority, decided not at this stage to become an independent country. I, I accept that verdict of the people and I call on all of Scotland to follow suit in accepting the democratic verdict of the people of Scotland. The No campaign had been described as uninspiring, relentlessly negative. In the end, if it played on Scotland's fears of the economic risks of independence, it may well have won by doing so. On Thursday, voters turned out in their biggest numbers in Scottish electoral history to make perhaps the most important decision of their lives. I voted yes, and it's mainly from the educational thing. I've been told that we are going to lose our free education should we vote no. Because I love Scotland, and I want it to just remain the same, and I don't trust Alex Salmond. Simple as. The arguments will rage over why the Scots voted as they did. Was it fear, or did they see sense in preserving an age-old union? They were presented with the possibility of independence, not by the gun, not by revolution, but by the ballot box. It was a historic choice in every way. In the end, they looked independence in the eye and said no. But make no mistake, the flame of separatism in Scotland has not gone out. Thank you to Scotland for 1.6 million votes for Scottish independence. An enormous number did vote for independence. What they've been promised instead are more powers of self-determination by politicians hundreds of miles south. Scotland voted for a stronger Scottish Parliament backed by the strength and security of the United Kingdom. And I want to congratulate the No campaign for that, for showing people that our nations really are better together. In London, at Westminster, they will know now that a changed Scotland will hold them to account. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Edinburgh.